Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Will Running coming back with another video. Today I'm actually be doing another prediction of the draft. Uh right after this senior bowl and right before the Super Bowl. So yeah. We're gonna see how it goes and let's check it out. Okay, first of all first of all, I still got um let me see. People are looking at uh Evan Neal most likely. So like we all know that the best player overall coming out is Kyle Hamilton. Nobody's going to really take him. And I, like I said, I'm going to take Evan Neal. I get it. It's it's just look at him. His his 6 foot 7, 350. Only allowed 200 presses and he did a great job. You know, people have him going to the Giants, but Jags are definitely a better fit for him. And I'm just saying that just cuz like I get it. Like they don't there's not no good receivers at the top picks. They could get that Tight ends don't need that offensive lineman out of their needs. It's their next most important need. I'm going to say edge rushing they don't need with Josh Allen at least on one side. So I'm going to go. I'm going to take uh, Evan Neal for them. Lions, I believe that they should wait another year to get a pick. To just wait. And I feel like receivers, I don't, I don't think that they should use this pick for a receiver right now. So if anything, I'm going to say, and they don't really need a tackle. I'm going to say that they're going to probably take Aiden Hutchinson. I feel like it's it's either him or Thibodeau, but I feel like Aiden Hutchinson is going to be the better pick for them just because it's like something that they're going to need and it's something they really do need compared to like they don't need a quarterback right now because there's no quarterbacks good enough to be taken second overall. So I feel like if anything, Lions are going to wait till next year, try and get Bryce Young and get him, you know, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have the Lions taking in Hutchinson. Now, Texans. I don't see. I feel like they they don't need a quarterback in this position. Surprisingly, David Mills showed off, had a phenomenal season, and I don't think. See, they're not Hamilton. It's too high to take him. No one really takes a safety third overall unless, like, unless it's, like, yeah, no, th th you just don't take a safety third overall. So they're going to take Thibodeau most likely. Like, if you look at this, you know, it's weird that they don't have it. But, look, a analysts have people having them pick Thibodeau. But, yeah, so let's, we're going to draft Thibodeau for them. Jeffs, but then you, receivers, don't have any receivers, and defensive backs. This is where I could see uh, Kyle Hamilton actually going, being that it's just like he's a better fit. I don't know if he's going to be a better fit for their scheme, but I feel like he's definitely a phenomenal player, and he's definitely the type of person that you want to see. Mm. You know, your, your, your injury worries uh, with him missing his final seven games should be healed up, and we should be able to see more of him in the future, um, especially at the Combine, most likely. So, yeah. Giants line they're gonna need, but there's nobody they're gonna need that badly. I feel like at anything right now, they're probably gonna get out of anything. They would probably trade one of these two picks and get um. They might get Derek Stingley or they're gonna get Charles Cross. I'm going with Derek Stingley because I feel like he's the better pick, just because I feel like. He's a better all-around. Xavier McKinney they have. And they're probably going to get rid of Jarrell Peppers because of his injury this season. So I feel like he's not going to be on the team next year. So it's just like they have enough safety work. And they'll probably need corners out of anything. Tackles, you know, you have you have Andrew Thomas, who's still a work in progress. You know, you know, I, I, they, they could definitely the Panthers could skip on him and they could take Charlie Cross. But I feel like they're going to take De uh, Derek Stingley Jr., Mm, Panthers, you're not going to need a quarterback this big. It's way too high to take a quarterback. Like, look, 17, 19, like 16th overall. Like, I don't I don't have them going that high. Now, what I am going to say is they're mm, – what I feel like is they might actually take – yeah, they're probably going to take cross at anybody just because they're going to need – they need offensive line more than anything. Guard and set – guard center edge. Um – Gonna say Giants are probably gonna take 
Yeah, they're probably gonna take Akimu Akangwu. He's the he's one of the better picks you could take. A lot of people like him. He's more of a, a um yeah no eighteen big time. He's just a good run game. And then we have with Saquon, they're gonna have to. They should probably be using that more. And then with Aaron Jones being a a dual dual threat quarterback who has legs and has the speed to take over, he's gonna be the pick that you want. So yeah, that's why I'm having them take a Kamu because he's a better rush player. Uh, Falcons. Just they're probably gonna take the be uh probably best overall player with George. He's probably gonna be the best player for them, you know. Broncos. I, I still believe because this is all gonna depend after free agency what everything is just gonna change at free agency. Out of anything. Yeah, Ahmad Garner is probably the better pick with hasn't allowed a single touchdown in his collegiate career. And starting as a true freshman. And only allowed 96 yards. That's a pick that they that they're gonna want. They want a corner. They need a corner. And I know their secondary is very dominant, but like unless they there's nobody really else that's good. And then a quarterback's not gonna need it. Like we don't know. This is all gonna change depending on what free agency looks like, because people have uh, Rodgers, a lot of people have Rodgers going to Broncos. But, you know, I have a Mod Garner going to the Broncos. Jets again. Uh, who did I draft for the Jets? So this is just me being forgetful. Jets, I have them, I got, have them have Kyle Hamilton. Wide receiver, linebacker, they're probably going to get Garrett Wilson, you know, give, give Zach Wilson some help, you know, six foot, has a good, has generated such a high passing rating when he's targeted, he's definitely going to be a pick that they're going to probably take, okay, uh, Washington, see, I don't know if they're going to really need a quarterback right now, but definitely, linebacker, they're probably going to get Devin Lloyd, going to be a good pickup for them. Um, Vikings, see, I don't know if they should get a quarterback. They, do, they draft a quarterback young. Don't know how we go play out. But definitely we're probably going to get the center, you know. Build up that offensive line, you know. You have a good player in him. And Justin Jefferson and Dalvin Cook, you know, the line you're going to need. Adam Thielen. Um, Browns, you know, they're, they're going to need some help, you know. But um, I really think that they're going to probably get um, somebody that's going to be, like, definitely they're probably going to get, actually, Drake uh, London. He's probably their best pick overall because in the, they're going to need more receivers. You know, they haven't had a good – Odell leaving wasn't the best thing for them and everything. But they're probably going to get Drake London. Um, uh, Ravens. Out of anything, probably going to take uh, Trent McDuffie. He's probably their best pick overall right now. Because they don't, like maybe N'Kobe Dean, switch him, switch somebody to, yeah, probably they're going to, mm. yeah, Trent Duffy's probably their best pick overall. It's, I'm not saying anything, but it's just like probably their best pick overall to take. Back-to-back -back picks are probably not going to want that. They're probably going to trade out of this. But they're definitely going to go and take N'Kobe Dean. Something they need. They need a linebacker. They need to build on their defense. Because they have a solid offense. And then they're, they're probably going to take probably Jameson Williams. I would No, because they drafted, they drafted Devontae Smith. They just didn't play a lot this season. Yeah. Gary Elm is probably their best pick overall. Potential to be something good. Started out the season early. A uh, high pick. Just went down. So let's see if he can boost it up, especially next year uh, in the pros. Chargers. Don't need a quarterback. Yeah, I feel like their best pick is probably Jameson Williams. He's their best pick, with especially with the abilities that he has. 
Um, him and Herbert with Herbert's cannon and this kid's speed. You just really got a huge kid right here. Definitely going to be a great abil uh, a great addition to the team. Now, I am going to have uh, Sam probably go to the Saints because out of all teams that need him, they need him. He's the best quarterback available. It all depends on free agency, but I have them sticking with him and taking Sam this 18th pick. Eagles again. They're definitely going to trade a few picks to get out of here. But out of anything, yeah, no, they're probably going to get... Who did I pick for the... I thought I just did it. Yeah, they're probably going to get with their last pick in the first round. They're probably going to get um, David Ojabu, solid player, as we've seen. Steelers, you know, number one concern is quarterback for them. And what they're probably going to do is they're probably going to get... Uh, let me look at quarterbacks, actually, because that's going to help me out a little bit more. With this kid's abilities that he showed last week, you know, in the Senior Bowl, I feel like he's the highest, highest and best player that they're going to take. Patriots, what I think they're going to probably take, they're going to, they had an offensive line. It's going to be Chris Olava. Olava? Ulevi, he was probably their best pit player. Didn't have a good beginning of the season, it seems like. But you know they they need a deep threat. Got Mac Jones, and he's got the he's got an arm to throw. Okay, Raiders. What I'm gonna say with Raiders, what do they need? Wide receivers. I don't feel like they need a wide receiver as much. Interior defensive lineman. Defensive interior lineman. I feel like what they're probably going to get, they're probably going to get Andrew Booth from Clemson. It just seems like he started out the season as a pretty high corner. Um, to start out the season, couldn't keep up with it. But let's see what he does. Um, he did give a lot of uh, catches, but yeah, uh, Cardinals, they're probably going to take, uh, Raman and put him to guard because that's probably the best pick offensive line. You know, they're probably going to take Kenyon Green. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a good pick for them, you know. Definitely need the offensive lineman. Started out the season strong up in the top, top 20, and then just went down um, after, you know. Sorry. Yeah, no, he can play both uh, guard and tackle, which is good because they need it because a lot of their offensive line, even though they're good, they're just getting old. Bills, what they need is receiver or interior defensive lineman. They don't really need anything else. So what I'm gonna say is they're probably gonna get uh John Dotson. Phenomenal kid, it looks like. It seems like ended up beginning of the season. Second best player uh in what's it called? In like um before the season started, ended up with had two drops out of his ninety three catch bowl, I guess this season. A lot. Five eleven, but you know, if this kid's got speed you don't need that to worry about a lot of things because Josh Allen can throw the ball easily. Tight ends, but they're probably yeah they they need a tight end, guard. Yeah, they're probably gonna take. I thought it was a receiver. Six foot three. Uh, it's not that. If if he weighed more, I feel like they could put him at receiver. But this kid, he's got talent. He's got talent. Um. I don't feel like a quarterback's a big necessity for them. So I'm going to say that they're probably going to go with... Mm, they're probably going to go with Arnold Abati. I don't want to say his name. Bucks. 
I feel like with this pick, they're probably not going to go quarterback just because they want to see how Trask plays because they haven't seen him play. And they'll probably end up going with – they'll actually probably end up going with uh, Trevion Burks, Traylon Burks, Packers. This is something that I'm a little, like, iffy on. But, like, let me see it Desmond Rattlers. Because it's just, like, I don't know. I don't I – don't, I feel like – this isn't – I'm actually thinking ahead. Anything I'm going to say, they're probably going to, like, like, you see, there's nothing left. They're probably going to end up trading this pick, but if they don't, it's probably going to go to uh, Trevor Penning. Probably their best overall option. You know, did work his way up. You know. But let's see what he does in the combine. Let's look and see if the line gets better. But he's the tie for the first best tackle in the 2020 grade, so that, that plays a lot. What they're going to need, you know, we don't have any offensive line, which really which really plays a huge role in what's going on, and they just can't, like, like even receivers, let's take a look at receivers. There's nothing here, really. There's nothing here for receivers, anything. They're going to either trade this pick away, or they're just not going to get anything out of it. But out of anything, if they do anything, if they do keep this pick, they're probably going to get Lewis uh, at Chin. I know I was talking bad about him, but then I watched his highlights. You know, he doesn't, he's more of a hard hitter than anything else. I feel like they'll probably end up taking him if they don't trade the pick. Chiefs, they're probably going to take a corner. Roger McKin, um, um, Roger uh, McKin, McKinnery. Good potential, has high abilities, you know. Start of the season, uh, before preseason, start of the season went down and then made his way up. And then, you know, people got put up because of not because of him not playing. But, yeah. Um, Bengals, what I think they're going to need out of anything is, yeah, an offensive line. But they're probably going to end up trading it. So I'm um, I'm gonna say that they're probably gonna get like a cornerback. I think Dixon Hill was probably their best best bet because they don't they don't have any linemen that we need none none at all close. And then um I I really think that maybe now after like seeing what Desmond Rattle has done, Lions might take him actually, but it, it all depends. Kid's got amazing stats, amazing ability, you know. But yeah, guys, I have Desmond Rattler. Let's take a look. You know. You know, this is without trades or anything. And it will definitely be 100% completely different after. Uh, and I'll be doing this after the Super Bowl. After week. Uh, after free agency week one. Free agency week, week two. And then I'm going to wait till Combine. And then I'll do it right after the draft. But yeah, guys, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. And let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos. Peace.